नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टूडे वी गोइंग टू सी लॉ ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट इंटीग्रल एक्सपोनेंट वेर एक्सपोनेंट्स आर इंटीजर्स विल नॉट गोइंग टू सी योर फ्रैक्शन और रियल नंबर पार्ट एज टू प्रूव दैट वन वी नीड टू यूज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन योर वट एवर प्रूफ वी आर यूजिंग इट इज़ वैलिड ओनली फॉर योर इन टीचर सो लेट सी यर फर्स्ट वन दे आर आर फाइव लॉ वन बाय वन वील गोइंग टू सी हेयर द फर्स्ट वन ए टू द पावर एम एन टू ए टू द पावर एन इक्वल्स टू ए टू द पावर एम प्लस एन वेन मल्टीप्लाई एंड द बेस आर सेम देन पावर्स आर एडिट वेन द बेस आर सेम एंड इन डिविजन फॉर्म देन सब्ट्रैक्शन पार्ट एंड द पावर ऑफ पावर विल गिव यू मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड दिस पावर विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट मीन्स ए टू द पावर एन बी टू द पावर एन एंड यर ऑल्सो ए टू द पावर एन डिवाइडेड बाई बी टू द पावर एन सो वन बाई वन विल सी यर द फर्स्ट वन इफ यू लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल बाय लुकिंग द एग्जाम्पल यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू टेक फाइव टू द पावर सिक्स एंड फाइव टू द पावर फोर विल गेट हेयर फाइव टू द पावर सिक्स प्लस फोर दैट मीन्स फाइव टू द पावर टेन हाउ सी यर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स विल गोइंग टू राइट हेयर सिक्स टाइम्स एंड फॉर दिस विल गोइंग टू राइट हेयर फोर टाइम्स नाउ इफ यू टेक आउट दिस ब्रैकेट यू कैन सी दैट फाइव रिपीट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स टेन टाइम दैट मीन्स फाइव टू द पावर टेन सो सिमिलरली हेयर इफ यू लुक एट दिस वन ए टू द पावर एम मीन्स ए इन टू ए इन टू ए डॉट डॉट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एम फैक्टर टाइम्स एंड हेयर एम फैक्टर टाइम्स नाउ इफ यू टेक आउट द ब्रैकेट यू कैन सी दैट एम प्लस एन लाइक दिस थिंग यू कैन सी हेयर सिक्स प्लस फोर विल गिव यू टेन हेयर ऑल्सो एम प्लस एन विल गिव यू एम प्लस एन फैक्टर्स एंड देन विल गेट अवर रिक्वायर्ड रिजल्ट Now we proceed for the second one. Here we have, you can see, power a to the power m divided by a to the power n, which can be written as this. Now you can see here there are six cases. For multiplication, it's okay. There's an addition, but for this one, in division, we have three cases. One when your m is greater than n, that means numerator exponent is greater than denominator exponent. If it is so, normally we'll go when you use this one. That means cancelling n factors in numerator and denominator. So we'll see the example. By example, we're going to try to understand. So you can see the example here. The first one we have taken the example. If you look at the example, then only we'll understand. Two to the power three divided by two to the power two. So you can see here how many times three times and two times the down part. This to cancel, we give one. So if we we'll take this one, three, three, same number of times, we'll get one, and which will give you zero. That means three minus three will give you zero. And if we we'll go for this one, two to the power two divided by two to the power three. Here in the exponent is what less than your denominator exponent. So here you can get one by two, and one by two can be written as two to the power minus one. Why? Because there is a one power. And there's a formula a to the power n equals to what one by a to the power n. We apply this formula here, and we'll get here minus one and minus one can be written as two minus three. So here we are getting. So if you look at this three cases, same con concept we have applied the way we ha we have seen in the example. Look at the last one. If you look at the last one, so n minus m because n is the greater here. Now if we we'll take this one. Here it will give you minus sign, and if we we'll multiply with the minus, minus n, minus minus plus m, so m we are writing in the front, and a minus writing this side, and you can see that for each case we are getting a to the power m minus n. Next we'll proceed your third number. So let's see. Here we have power of powers will give you multiplication form. So let's see, e to the power m to the power n. That means, a m repeat how many times n number of times a to the power m a to the power m dot dot how many times n number of times. Now, a to the power m single part we can write like this, and again this one we can write like this, and it will continue. So if we we'll look at the example first, because with the help of example it will be clear to us. Five to the power. Three to the power two. That means five to the power three into five to the power three. Now this five to the power three can be written as three times, 
and this 5 to the power 3 can be written as 3 times now if we take out the bracket you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means 5 to the power 6 and this 6 can be represent, represent as 3 into 2 look at here if we go for the other problem also look at here other problem if we go the other problem 2 to the power 2 by 7 to the power 4 to the power 3 you can see that 2 to the power 7 to the power 4 2 by 7 to the power 4 2 by 7 to the power 4 now if we we'll break it here you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and if we we'll multiply it in this form 4 3 just 12 this way we have applied here okay next the fourth and the fifth one both comes under the same category one in multiplication one in division form so here we have a into b to the power n that means a b how many times we can repeat here n number of times now if we we'll open it open means if we we'll take out the bracket you can see that a into b a into b that means we can write a how many times n times and b how many times n times that means a to the power n into b to the power n look at the problem 2 into 5 to the power 6 that means 2 into 5 2 into 5 how many times 6 times now we are writing this 2 6 number of times and here also 5 6 number of times so if you'll see there 2 to the power 6 and 5 to the power 6 and the last one that is a to a by b to the power n can be represented as a by b into a by b how many times n factors time that means if we'll take out a like this and b like this you can see that n number of times n number of times and if we repeat n number of times we can write here a to the power n and b to the power n separately and this is our last problem here example you can see 2 by 5 to the power 6 which can represent like this and we can break it in numerator and denominator form which will give you 2 to the power 6 by 5 to the power 6 i hope it is clear thank you